Hi, and welcome to the battery shop. The Toyota Prius has its auxiliary 12 volt battery mounted in the trunk. It's a vented battery, and some of them even have their temperature taken. So although the replacement procedure is fairly straightforward, there are a few extra steps you may have to take. So always refer to the original equipment manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions so you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely replace a battery in a vehicle like this. Let's get started. Our first step is to remove the carpeting from the trunk. The next step is to unlock the rear deck fasteners and remove the rear deck. Now we can remove the plastic cargo tray. Now we can remove the paneling to expose the battery. Now with our gloves and safety glasses on, we can remove the negative battery cable and you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. Next, remove the positive battery cable. The next step is to carefully remove the vent tube from the side of the battery. Don't twist it, pull it straight out because it is a keyed fitting. Now we can unplug the battery's temperature sensor wiring harness. Now using your 10 millimeter socket, you can loosen the fasteners for the battery hold down bracket. and remove the battery's hold down bracket. Now we can remove the old battery from the vehicle. Now we can install the new battery. And gently remove any corrosion that may be on the battery terminals. And now we can reinstall the battery's hold down bracket. and tighten to five and a half Newton meters. Next, reattach the temperature sensor's wiring harness and carefully reinstall the vent tube into the side of the battery. And check it to make sure it's not cracked or kinked or damaged in any way. Now we can reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal but don't pound the terminal on because this may cause internal battery damage. And retighten the nut to five and a half Newton meters. Next, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal and retighten the nut to five and a half Newton meters. The next step is to reinstall the plastic molding and the cargo tray. Now reinstall the trunk's floorboard the carpeting and we're done.